The JSC delivered 4% uh, growth in both NPAT and headline earnings, obviously during challenging conditions. And this was supported by growth across all of our business units, um, also uh, underpinned by high operational performance um, and a rising interest rate environment, which of course buoyed our net interest income. The total group operating revenue was up 5%. Um, with, as I said, growth across all of the uh, units. Now, I have spoken to you, I think this is now, no. Um, I have spoken to you over the past few years about our journey to diversify our revenue. And um, I'm very pleased to report that today we are starting to demonstrate genuine progress towards delivering on our promise. So our non-trading uh, revenue is up 20, has contributed 25%, uh, and that's up from 18% um, just four years ago. I've spoken uh, many times about the event of the nature of our business, which often leads to a cyclicality of earnings and um, has led, led to swings in our financial performance. Our current diversification strategy is, is really aimed at improving the quality of our earnings and supporting us through the peaks and the troughs of the uh, market cycles. Our non-trading revenue over the past ten uh, over the past uh, ten years has grown by a ten percent uh, compound annual growth, uh, growth revenue, um, and um, those are, are really a function of contributions from products like um, co-location, market data, and JIS. In fact, our, J uh, our JIS business has grown at a compound annual growth rate of. 49% since inception in 2020, and um, our co-location has grown by 19% over the last nine years since that was introduced. And so our success to date in delivering on our promises and in improving the quality of our earnings is, is really an indicator of the future of the exchange. Group operating expenses, um, as you would have seen, were up 7.5%, largely in line with inflation um, uh, and partly impacted by operating pressures such as electricity and um, diesel, partly impacted by the um, normalization or annualized effects of some of the acquisitions that we made. Keeping to trying to see if these uh, slides are coming up. And so consequently, our EBITDA margin has remained more or less stable at 40% versus 41% um, last year. Let's see if this is coming up, guys. How are we doing it back there? Five minutes. Um, an important feature of the business is the ability to generate cash. And we've proven this once again um, uh, over the past year. And we're very pleased to, be, to have announced uh, that we will be paying an ordinary dividend of uh, 769 cents. In addition to the financial results that I've just discussed, um, we are, are very pleased with our operational performance and our resilience, which is at an all-time high. Um, market uptime was 99.9%, up from our long-run average of 99.83%. It doesn't sound like a big increase in percentage terms, but I can guarantee you the difference between 99.83 and 99.9 .9 means a number of Sunday Times headlines. Um, so, and many hours. Right, thanks. And, and here you finally see the slide, and I apologize for that small technical glitch. And then um, uh, in addition to our, our sort of operating trusted markets, in addition to the operational resilience, we also are focused very heavily on our regulatory transformation. Enormous transformations have been introduced, um, and Andre is in the room, in our issuer regulatory space um, to try and uh, cut red tape and improve um, the listings pipeline. In addition, we were awarded our independent clearinghouse license, effective 1 January, and we're very pleased with that. And then finally, I wanted to mention that the quality of our earnings is really underpinned by our strategic delivery. And the JSC continues to be a center of innovation, um, both um, for financial markets on the continent and in emerging markets broadly. And these results reflect 
the strategic focus that we've had over the last couple of years. Action that we are taking is starting to translate into the results that we're seeing. Our cloud-based in, uh, uh, based initiatives in the information services space and our fintech-powered private markets are building our commercial capabilities in the digital space. Um, in the regulatory space, uh, we are in the process of introducing a social listening artificial intelligence tool, which will provide an early warning system for any issues um, that would require follow-up or investigation. And then um, finally, our JSC um, uh, analytics platform, which is called Trade Explorer and the Marks area, was delivered. This is an exchange first. We are in discussions both actually on our private placements and our trade explorers uh, innovations with many other first world exchanges. And it's very pleasing to see that a country at the bottom of Africa is able to uh, provide insights and, and share knowledge to other developed world exchanges in these new <clears throat> innovations.